Hi, my name is Alfonso Mendez. I from Colombia. I from Colombia. I arrived to the U.S. in the year 2000. I was uh, when I arrived to the U.S. It was because uh, I applied to receive asylum. My job in Colombia was a uh, eradication of illegal crops, and the gorillas at that time decided I was a target, and that's why I moved with my two kids and my wife in the year 2000. At the moment I arrived to San Jose, I had no relatives, no friends, nobody, even uh, I barely can speak, speak English. And uh, it was a huge barrier for me to get a job. Uh, there is one, uh, somebody told me about Santa Maria and I started coming to receive service like a regular client. I received a amazing service from Santa Maria. They provide me food and clothing for my family. And uh, when I decided to continue being a volunteer to Santa Maria, I was volunteer for nine years. And after nine years, they gave me a part-time position. And 11 years ago, they decided that I can run the center. And I've been involved. And I now, right now, I'm the program manager. We are a small organization. We only have uh, three staff members, two part-time employees, and myself, I'm full-time employee. The rest of the people that you're gonna see in the video is uh, are volunteers from the community. They come to receive food and also they decide to donate time to support the community. How I get involved with the beautiful day? Yeah. We have a friend, Hugo, that he, he worked for the community. And uh, he told me about the opportunity with your beautiful organization. And uh, I was agreed to contact the organization and uh, honestly something that we appreciate a lot of effort to support the community because uh, as I told you before we are a non-profit organization and uh, sometimes the resources that you receive is to buy food or to support the community but we don't have an excedent of money to put money on the, the facilities and do some uh, extra job that you need to, to have in a community center like this. So that was, uh, we are very grateful that Beautiful Day has chosen Santa Maria to do an excellent job. The Beautiful Day, they are going to help me uh, taking care of the garden. They are going to put the uh, bark on the garden. Also, uh, part of our paint in our building is, is falling down, falling down. So they are going to repaint the areas. Also, they are going to, uh, our close closet distribution is a small uh, building, a small house and they're gonna create something bigger inside the building and also they're gonna renovate everything. I, I know about Santa Maria before. I was asked, actually recruited to be on the board and didn't really, when I joined, plan to be that involved. Um, I'm sorry to say that, but that's the way it was. I then heard Alfonso's story about how he became acquainted with Santa Maria. Mm -hmm. And it didn't just touch my heart, it tugged at it like a locomotive pulling. Um, starting as a client and ending up today as program manager is unbelievable. He's thrived and he's what we do here best at Santa Maria. We just don't put food on people's tables and say, here you go. We know their family, we care about their family. We give them things that they need. We give the family things that they need. We make them feel human instead of someone that's so down on their luck. And that's what to me is special about Santa Maria. Beautiful day, listening to what it's described. It's almost like the perfect volunteer organization. I uh, love this idea of showing the project and uh, targeting people that have the skill set or have no skill set and just able to use whatever they're told a simple task. It's a great way to have people become involved for a small amount of time when they don't have a lot of time. But the project is like a lot of time. And especially the opportunity of community service. Right. And they help them help them understand what Santa Maria is about and the outreach that we have down here and the impact we have on people's lives. And then to realize the difference they can make being you know, involved right. with projects like this. And the younger gen the mentoring of the younger generation, as Peter said, to actually become involved is something that um, I was excited to hear 
that's what you, your organization um, is trying to do. Um, that's one of the few I've ever heard of that. And it's gonna be the key to the future of um, pretty much everything in this country.